I can use the properties of integer exponents to simplify expressions. So this is 2 times x to the third times 5x to the fourth. So if we write this all out, it's 2, and there's 3x's times 5, and there's 4x's. 2 times 5 is 10. And how many x's are being multiplied? It's 7. So we could have just added these exponents. It was one of the rules. Okay, next one. So just like the last problem, when we have the same base, we can just add exponents. So I have 6 plus a negative 4. That's x squared. I have negative 2 plus 5. That's 3. It's y to the third. Same base, you just add the exponents. Same thing here. This is 5 times negative 3. That's negative 15. I have a squared and a squared. 2 plus 2 is 4. There's 4 a's. b to the third times b. That's b to the first. We don't write b to the first, but it's b to the first. So we add the exponents. 3 and 1 is 4. Right? Because there's 3 b's and one more b. So there's 4 b's. Okay? Now we have division. 12 divided by 4 is 3 x to the tenth, x to the third. Well, if we write this all out, I have ten of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the bottom, I have three x's. Okay, well, x divided by x is one, x divided by x is one, x divided by x is one. I'm left with seven x's on top. So we could have subtracted the exponents. It was one of the rules. Properties. Here's your answer. Okay, same thing here. Negative 42 divided by 7 is negative 6. 4 minus 2 is x squared. 3 minus, it's y to the first power. There's a y there, or excuse me, an exponent of 1 there. So we have 3 minus 1 is squared. Okay. All right, 216 divided by 6, that's 36. And then I've got 46 minus 47, that's negative 1. Or, it's 216 divided by 6, which is 36. You could have thought of it as 47x is on bottom, 46x is on top. 46 of them reduced to 1, and there's 1 left over on bottom. This answer and that answer is the same thing. They're both correct. <clears throat> Two x to the fourth. So this is two x four times. Two times two times two times two. That's two to the fourth power, which is sixteen. X times x times x times x, which is x to the fourth. So the property was this exponent is applied to both two to the fourth and x to the 4th. 2 to the 4th is 16. x to the 4th is just x to the 4th. Now this one here, it's 2x to the 4th 5 times. So if we think about that, there's 3, 4, 5. So this is 2 to the 5th power, which is 32. This is x to the fourth five times, so we could have just multiplied these exponents. Four times five is x to the twentieth. That was one of the properties, one of the rules. Okay. Now this one, if we write that out, 8x3y squared three times. Okay. Or we could have followed the property, but we have 8 to the third power, which is 512. We have x to the third power, right? 8 to the third, x to the third. We have 3 to the third power, 3 to the third power, which is 27. And then you have y squared to the third power. So we 
could have just multiplied those exponents, right? y squared to the third power gives me y to the sixth. And that is that. You gotta review those properties.